All right, people, how you doing? Look at that. It's not raining. Do you know why it's not raining? Because I'm going back to work soon. <laughs> now, don't get too bored because I'm bringing you to this place again, the day marker. There's a reason I'm coming up here. Well, the first part of the reason is really, um, I've got a little bit, I've got sort of an hour and a half square. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I've got an hour and a half spare before I pick the wife up from work. And what I wanted to do, day marker, sun's over there somewhere. I want to take a picture from that side of the day marker through and have the sun inside the day marker shining through the legs. So if my brains work right with the app that I've got to tell me where the sun's going to be, the thing is the app that I've got doesn't tell me if the sun, how high the sun is, but fingers crossed, the sun's going to come from there. I'm going to go the other side of the day marker and I'm going to get a picture of the day marker with the sun shining through it. That's my plan. But none of my shoots ever go to plan, so hang tight. Go on in there. Failing that, what a lovely looking day look. Cool. Did I speak too soon? There's a day marker. That there looks like a rainbow, which to me means water. <laughs> the sun is over there just setting, so I've got a little bit before it hits the ground. I'm hoping it's going to come all the way down through there, and I can take a picture of the other side and uh, have the sun in there. A little bit of, I could do with some clouds higher in the sky as well, which would be nice. If I pull this off, this will be a first for me because I'm useless at planning shoots. <laughs> I think the sun is behind that pillar, which is cool because it's slowly going to come round and shine through here. So if I walk through here, I'm hoping that sun is just going to be the side of that pillar. There he is. Oh yeah, baby. So eventually that's going to come round and it's going to shine through. So I've just got to get my composition and be ready for that to come through. Look at that. Look. Oh, there she is. There she isn't. I don't believe it. It's raining. It's actually bloody raining. Just a minute ago when I left the car, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. I suppose there's a little cloud up there, but... Can you see that rain? Unbelievable. It's good conditions as well. But I think if I want to get the whole day marker in, I need to be all the way over there on the edge of that field. I don't just want to get this bottom bit in, I want to get the whole thing in with the sun shining through. So basically what I need to do is follow the shadow of the shadow of the day marker. I want to be down there somewhere. Mr. Farmer has put some new crops in, as you can see that these are new crops, so I'm going to have to sh shift me arse. I'm going to go back out the gate and I'm going to run, run all the way up there, all the way up there, there's a gate there, and come right down there. So, I ain't going to talk and run because I'll be knackered. Hang tight, let's go. Right, people, I'm in position. Oh, um, I haven't gone to the edge of the field. I've come down this track here. Can you see that? Went round to the gate, come down the track. Because I walked down the other side and I'm too far away. I think this is probably going to be the best position. And now I've set up my camera and literally I'm waiting. The sun is on this side. It's slowly going over like that. It's just in behind now. And hopefully it's going to go through and boof, I'm going to see it right through the middle of there. Problem is, the clouds have decided to come out and play ball. So um, I've got a feeling if when the sun does get to that point, it might be behind clouds. So it's just a waiting game for now. If it sticks its head out, I'll give you a shout. Go put a kettle on. See, that's what he looks like at the minute. Load of bloody cloud, look. Right along here, right where the sun's going to set, there's a load of cloud. And I just want it to pop its neck through there. Nightmare. Mind you, while I'm waiting, some nice clouds over there. Nice leading line of the track. F13, eighth of a second. The only thing that really annoys me with this is the field ain't flat, it's not straight. So when you look at this shot, you've got the lovely sky, you've got the lovely straight horizon, and then you've got the field that's sort of banking from right to left downhill. 
So which what should be a nice shot is just kind of spoiled by the, you know what I mean? Got some nice colors behind the day marker now. Does look quite cool. Shoot a little bit wider just in case I need to crop him. Come on, son, stick your head through. Some nice cloud color there. Right, I think I got it. The day marker's in shadow on this side, obviously, because it's so bright behind. Um, so I've taken one shot. Da, 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 da. One shot at a 25th of a second F13. F13 are like shooting at anyway. But I was hoping F13 would give me a bit of a sunburst, starburst, whatever you like to call it. And then I've got another shot at 13th of a second. And then kind of a, an exposed shot to see the front of this in the nice green grass a third of a second. And in the dark one, there is oh, there is a little bit. I'll show you. You can see if you can see on the back of my screen, there's a little bit. And if the picture's any good of this bad boy, it's only going to be a, a little little starbursty thing, I think. If it's any good, here it is. Cheers for watching. Sorry it's a quick one. I've got to pick a wife up in about 10 minutes and she's about 900 mile away. Have a great weekend because this will probably go out on a Friday. This bad boy is why I come and took this shot on my Facebook memories. Um, and what, a week ago? I took this shot back in, I don't know when it was, 2016, 2017. So I was kind of trying to re recreate that really. So yeah, cool. Cheers. Bye.